We're, we're now in the gallery. Uh, apologies if you hear some noises, but we're finishing with the details of the installation. We're here with the Contortionist, a very iconic piece. It was probably produced 1200 BC, 1000 BC, we still don't know. Uh, and it represents a man in a contorted position. Scholars think it's a representation of a person that suffered from a pathology known as Marfan, uh, which resulted in the looseness of the limbs. I'm here with one of my favorite pieces of the show. This is the Kneeling Warrior. This is a representation of a warrior uh, which is probably expecting the arrival of the enemy. And it really represents or symbolizes one of the main ceremonial themes represented in Mochicard, which is the ritual combat and eventual sacrifice of victims. Here we have a representation, an early Mochica style a vessel representing a man that has scars in the face. He also has the ribs exposed and he's probably suffering of a, of a pathology, of a sickness related to the skin. This is a, an early Mochica style vessel also, represented a man with, with scars and he's probably suffering also from a skin uh, disease because he, he's probably uh, cleaning or washing his skin with some plate that we really don't know what it is. Here we are looking at two pieces probably related with the sacrifice ceremonies. The black besser depicts a prisoner being pecked by birds. Probably this was one of several forms of sacrifice that occurred in Mochica society. The other object is a depiction of a human skull, probably with mouth mutilated, because we see some kind of incised lines and we don't know if, if it's, it's a representation of a dead man, of, of a living man with a mutilated face. And that's interest for, uh, interesting for scholars as well.